zone into this video thinking I'm going to be teaching you how to get that hourglass figure, Kylie Jenner, Timmy Hambrow. But that's not really what I want to be talking about. When I talk about curves, I don't just mean like an hourglass figure. I just mean curves. But in saying that, if you keep watching this video and apply these tips to your life, you could possibly get an hourglass figure if you really try to work hard at it. So you're probably wondering, who is this skinny ass chicken little girl trying to tell me how to gain curves on my body when she looks like that? Firstly, hi, my name is Ivy. Welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, I like to post a lot of videos related to weight gain, fitness, recovering mentally or physically from a stress-induced eating disorder. I literally used to be so incredibly skinny. Not even two, three years ago, I used to look like this. I used to weigh 35 kilos at my very, very lowest point in my life. But now I look like this. While if you look at me in isolation from not looking at the before pics, I may just look like your average skinny Asian girl. But in reality, I'm just your average skinny Asian girl who used to be 35 kilos but made her way to 43 kilos and somewhat gained a little bit of carbs, kind of not really, just gained a little bit of something on my body. Before we get on to the video, I really want to quickly do a quick shout out to my favorite comments of the week. This is my favorite YouTube comment from last week's video. Thank you so much for sending that through. And this is my favorite comment from my last week's Instagram photo of the week. And if you want to be featured in next week's video, make sure to comment down below or comment on this next Instagram photo, which I'll be posting next week. Make sure you watch to see if you get a shout out. So let's get on into the actual tips. So. You've probably decided that you think it's probably time to do something about your body. Not that there's anything wrong with it, really. I know that society has defined femininity by curves, big boobs, and a big butt. The reality is we should absolutely and 100% love ourselves the way that we are. We get bodies given on this earth literally to feed ourselves, to enjoy life, not so that we can look hot for someone on Instagram and for other people to idolize our bodies. First tip, you actually need to gain weight. And I know, that's probably blowing a lot of your mentalities right now. You're like, oh my gosh, I don't want to gain weight. The reality is your curves are not going to come out of hiding out of nowhere, no matter how much you exercise. If you haven't already realized, your butt is just one thing of fat or muscles, even your boobs itself. They're literally two sacks of fat just sitting on your chest. And that's the thing, I don't think we should actually base our worth of how big our butt is or how big our boobs are because the reality is people who have big butts naturally or big boobs naturally have just won a genetic lottery or not that they won, saying that we who have really small boobs and stuff are losers, but the reason why they're able to have what they have is genetically they are just a little bit more blessed than some of us here are. But in saying that, while you can't make your natural bones grow, you can definitely add a bit more muscle or fat to your body to make you look a lot more curvy. Like I mentioned before, you do actually have to gain weight and it does sound like a really big task, but I've made multiple, multiple videos previously on how to gain weight already and I will link them here or link them on the side. You can kind of pause this video, go have a little look at them and then come back here or if you want, finish this video and go give the other videos a little watch as well. I have this one video that I created about a year ago on how I gained weight, how I gained eight kilos. I made another video on how I gained five kilos in three months. And I made another video on what to do before starting the weight gain journey. Five tips and tricks that you need to know to gain weight effectively and keep it on. Okay, so you've decided that it's time to gain weight for you to gain some of your curves. I mean, to be completely honest, this isn't a free reign to have McDonald's three times a day for the next two weeks or whatever. This isn't super size me. To be able to gain curves in a way that doesn't look like fat, you've actually got to gain a bit of muscle. And there's nothing wrong with gaining fat. When you do gain weight, even if you're trying your hardest just to gain muscle, you're never just gonna gain pure muscle. You're always gonna gain just a little bit of fat. And honestly, that's okay. Gaining curves just does come with fat. Unless you wanna be completely lean and muscular, this probably isn't the video for you. You have to eat the right foods. If you want to be able to grow your butt and your thighs, I'm not saying that you You've got to eat strictly. You can eat a lot at this point, which is really, really great, but you've just got to find a lot more healthier alternatives and meals. Like I mentioned in all my weight gain videos, there's this app called MyFitnessPal. It's really great to be able to help you track your macros and your calories for being able to gain weight, maintain the weight, or lose weight even. When you go on MyFitnessPal, it tells you how many calories you need to eat in a day for a certain amount of weights that you want to gain. If you decide that you actually do want to gain weight, at the very bottom there's this actually little function which shows you how many macros that you have to eat in a day to hit each macro fill. There's three different types of food groups that you need to be able to hit. There's carbs, obviously rice, pasta, all that, protein, meats, beans, 
all that, and fats. Fats is mainly there to kind of just show you how much you're allowed to eat without kind of putting on a little bit more extra fat, you know what I mean? There's definitely a lot of healthy fats that you can eat to kind of like get that fat on you because healthy fats are good, such as avocado, nuts, salmon, but if you want to focus on your butt and your curves and thighs, the main thing that you want to be eating a lot is actually protein. What I love about today's society is that there are so many different avenues to get your protein, not just meat anymore. So for those that are vegetarian or vegan, don't fret. You don't have to eat meat just to be able to get your protein intake. Eating meat is very, very great because it is very high in protein and gets you to your caloric or macro fill very, very easily. Foods that are high in protein, there's chicken, obviously, fish, red meats like steak, minced beef for pastas. There's nuts, all different types of nuts, peanut butter. There are yogurts that are high in protein like Yopro, drinks like Up and Go, lentils, legumes, and protein shakes. A lot of people actually ask me in my weight gain journey, is it necessary to have a protein shake? The thing is, for me personally, I felt like I could eat my weight in protein. I felt like every single day, I didn't need to make myself protein shakes because A, I could eat my weight in protein, and B, protein shakes are kind of expensive. I decided to not do that option it's totally up to you if you have the money to do it go ahead but protein shakes are really packed full of protein so say one bottle of protein shake this big it may be equivalent to two steaks that I may need to eat some people may get fuller off steaks really easily therefore they opt to go for protein shakes because it's just easier to ingest that kind of protein very quickly and straight away pretty much gain weight go crazy you know but not too crazy to the point where you're literally going to like KC McDonald's Pizza Hut every single day you know what I mean okay Curvy girl tip number three. You've got to exercise. And exercise is a very, very big and crucial part of this. I mean, if you wanted to, you could literally just eat your weight in food and just gain the weight and gain the... the, the curves on your body but that is just gonna be fat it's not actually gonna be muscular it's not gonna guarantee that your booty will be popping people can actually gain weight on their butts but it doesn't mean it has to be big it could actually just be deflated and kind of like saggy and exercising is great especially for getting curves because things like squats they actually lift your butt so much things like push-ups and stuff make your arms look a lot more muscular and give it a bit more definition now the way to exercise there are a few ways to go about this you got to make sure that you're working out all body parts all of it do not just be doing legs every single day that is not going to help you and it's not going to help you achieve the results that you want you've got to alternate all body parts especially to kind of just make your body look a lot more even if you're just doing your legs your arms are going to look like chicken little stomach area is just not going to look as turned but your legs and your butt are just going to be like big and muscular it just doesn't make any sense so you've got to be able to work out your whole body and that is why we have seven days in the week because we have seven days in a week to be able to alternate between different workouts I think. To have the best transformation you can see, you've got to work out all body parts consistently and the best way to achieve like these curves is to actually do weights. Unfortunately, I know. Like a lot of people don't like going to the gym because it's very, very intimidating. Gym, however, is not necessarily necessary. There's so many free online workouts that you can literally take advantage of. There's so many YouTubers and creators that literally just do exercise videos at home, which are so accessible, which are so easy to do. Like there's people like Chloe Ting, Pamela Reed, Blue Galatis, Temi Hembra, I'm pretty sure she does one, but I'm pretty sure you have to pay. There are so many other free YouTube tutorials that you can 100% follow, and you can do these with different variations, you know, add your own like repetitions to it, you can add weights to it if you want, and like I said before, gym is not necessarily necessary unless you actually want like, like Kim Kardashian beauty, like that big, and then I would say that gym is necessary because you're probably gonna have to be lifting like 60 kilos or something like that to be able to achieve a butt that amazing. You can still 100% do these like home workouts, have your own exercise bands, which I know you can just get at Kmart. You can use ankle weights, which are really, really great. And you can also just get your own interchangeable dumbbells. I know there are some from Kmart again that can literally go between two kilos to 25 kilos, which is really, really great. Especially for a small girl like me, I don't need anything more than 25 kilos. Don't do too much cardio at all. I'm not saying to not ever do it. 
ever but the best thing to do for yourself especially when you're trying to gain weight and trying to gain muscle and all that is to not do so much cardio so now that I've given you these three tips one thing I did want to tell you guys about is the exercises that you can do to be able to get the curves it really varies I am no expert at doing arms or anything like that so 100% go ahead look that up I literally just follow like videos online on YouTube to be able to help me kind of get more muscle in my arms. Really, really great leg workouts and butt workouts you can do are squats. So many variations of squats. There's, I'm just going to show you guys in my dress right now because I literally cannot be bothered changing into gym wear. The sumo squat, the jumping squat, your regular squat. You can do lunges. Again, do your regular lunges, walking lunges, curtsy lunges. Again, all of these with some form of resistance or weight would be really, really great for your butt. There are glute workouts. So these are great for your butt. So there's straight leg raises, bent leg raises, fire hydrants. They may look easy, but the more you do of them with a heavier weight attached to you or a heavier resistance attached to you, they burn. And they're really, really great for your butt. Glute bridges. Glute bridges on the floor, glute bridges on the chair, you know, glute bridges everywhere. Those are the exercises that you can do and we'll move on to the last tip. The very, very last tip, and I'm sure you guys will be very, very happy with this, is to actually rest and sleep. Now, I'm not just saying that if you sleep and isolate this tip amongst all the others and not do anything else, you are not gonna gain a booty just by laying in bed. No, having a good night's sleep, having at least eight to nine hours of sleep a night is actually really, really good, especially in conjunction with like eating well and exercising right. Oh my gosh, having a balanced diet? exercising a balanced sleep schedule that's good for you what of course it is it's really really good especially when you're doing weights because it's good to give your body the rest that it needs to recuperate and regenerate and especially even mentally it's really really good for you mentally to be able to go into your next day ready and fresh and alive to tackle on a new day tackle on a new workout tackle on new meals like i mentioned before you cannot do legs and butt three to four days in a row expecting that your butt's gonna grow it's just not gonna work like that you need to give your legs and butt some time to rest in case you didn't realize the way muscle grows when you exercise and do weights it kind of just breaks or is like damaged in a way and then you need that rest time for it to repair and grow and grow into a big nice plump booty you definitely need to rest in this time drink lots of water hydrate have a good sleep schedule then you'll get the curves that you need I hope this was helpful to you guys and I hope in some way shape or form this was very helpful to you guys I mean like mentally glowing up in a kind of way I don't want you guys to think that like just because you don't have a curvy body in the first place that means that you are irrelevant you're not beautiful you are not worthy you are not like Instagram model beauty you are just you yourself trying to keep happy and healthy and being okay and content with the fact that you literally have this body. This is the only body we will ever have for the rest of our lives. There's no point in hating it. We've literally just got to love it and love it for all that it is because we're not gonna get anything else. You're stuck with it. But yeah, I just really hope that it helps you guys in some way. Appreciate your body, appreciate your form. And while at the same time, help you guys move towards being motivated or wanting to be able to, you know, like work on yourself, work on your fitness, working on healthy eating habits. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, a wonderful night. Give this video a like if you guys liked it. Really lets me know that you guys like this video and to do more of these. Subscribe if you haven't already. I post a new video every single Thursday. And follow me on Instagram. It's at Ivy underscore Nicole with two E's. Have a wonderful day or wonderful night wherever you are. Goodbye.